Mm. Chief Probation Officer Anthony Morsilla has been released to third-party custodians. His father, Jose Morsilla, and sister, Marie Morsilla. According to his defense attorney, Curtis Vandeveld, the federal probation assisted and approved of the arrangement. There is a desire to assure that there is no appearance of favoritism. Uh, there has been a request that uh, the federal probation office uh, undertake to review the assessment. And it's clearly my understanding that the probation, the federal probation officer has recommended release to third party custodians. We should note Morsilla's brother, David, who is a convicted felon, has been allowed to assist in his supervision. Superior Court Judge Alberto Tolentino. With regard to the uh, no contact with the, any uh, known felons, the court will make an exception for the brother who will be assisting Jose Morsilla in the supervision uh, of the defendant. He will be required to report to the uh, U.S. Probation Office in person on a weekly basis. Morsilla is under house arrest but will be allowed to participate in funeral arrangements and interim services for his daughter. Conditions of his release include submitting to drug and alcohol testing. He is also not allowed to be left alone with any minors and must have an adult present at all times. Morsilla's two-year-old daughter was left in a parked car for seven hours on Wednesday. Police say the child fell asleep as he went to drop another child to school. They say Morsilla forgot about the child and found her lifeless on Wednesday afternoon. She sustained second-degree burns all over her body. He has been charged with murder, negligent homicide, leaving a child in a motor vehicle, and child abuse. In court today, Attorney Vandeveld argued to dismiss the murder charge, saying there was no probable cause to support the charge. Morsilla is scheduled to appear before the court for preliminary hearing on April 12th at 4 p.m. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.